ignition. Two, one, zero. And liftoff. The latest Mars mission began at Cape Canaveral six months ago. And Atlas TU has gone to closed loop control. But now as NASA seeks to land its rover, the critical phase is about to start. It's been dubbed the seven minutes of terror due to the daunting technical challenge. The first task is decelerating the capsule through the ultra-thin Martian atmosphere. Then the rover is lowered onto the Martian surface using tethers, a system known as Sky Crane. And if all goes well, then tomorrow Perseverance will find itself in the Jezero crater and can begin its hunt for signs of ancient life. At Kennedy Space Center, where the mission began and where there is a replica of the rover, the anticipation is immense, and for one experiment in particular. The most exciting moment for Perseverance will not be for several weeks. That's when the mini helicopter stored aboard the rover will take flight for the very first time. It's a mission so experimental that NASA is comparing it in audacity to the flight by the Wright brothers here on Earth. Engineers have tried to recreate Martian conditions for the testing of the helicopter, but they are stressing it could go wrong. For a young generation inspired by this new mission, there is a key question. Do you think in your lifetime over the next 50, 60 years we might get humans onto Mars? Um, yes, I would think we get humans onto Mars in like maybe um, 30 years or something like that. Because like we have um, amazing technology. Maybe we can make something that can help people breathe in Mars, so we can actually live on Mars. Even if the helicopter flight does go wrong, it won't impact the main science, which involves the rover collecting soil and rock samples to be brought back to Earth by a future mission. Robert Moore, ITV News, at the Kennedy Space Center.